I'm Tim and this is Egg Chasers and I'm currently in the box office where I've just been the guest of Shimmy, Jean de Villiers and Scout Burger. <laughs> Scout's gone. Uh, but these two boys are here. Uh, thank you very much for having me. No, it's been fantastic, man. No, you are very good. good. You're Appreciate very, very good. good. It's good to have you. I, I want to ask you a question and I'll, I'll let me ask for comments down below as well what you think. Uh, I thought um, I would ask you guys to pick a Mount Rushmore of Springboks. Whoa. You're, not, you're not allowed to pick Sculp. You're not allowed to pick yourself or, or Sculp, Jean. Mount Rushmore. So you've got four spots. Apparently there's a fifth spot, there's space for a fifth on Mount Rushmore. But if you had to pick four, four of the to greatest. carve into stone, maybe on the, maybe on the face of Table Mountain. Francois Pina. I'll pick the three World Cup the winning winners captains. And yeah. one more. You would just go straight World Cup winning captains off the bat. Yeah. I think you have to. You have to. So that would be Circulisi, John so, Smith. So tell me why, because obviously you've experienced. Yeah, I, I, I just think the you know winning winning a, a World Cup as a captain is like um, you know that that's the ultimate as a team and being the leader of a squad. It's something special that going into the future you'll be part of a very select group. Um, how many have we had now? But Only some people might have thought eight. that um, for, um, uh, that Bismarck was a, the better player, for example, um, at hooker. No, well, I, I think that was, that was maybe part of the conversation at a later stage in their career, but certainly in 2007, John Smith was the, was the, um, the starter and, and, and an unbelievable leader, fantastic human being. <clears throat> so I, I'd definitely go the three World Cup winning captains and then I'll go Donny Gerber. Ooh, interesting. Yes, I think the best player. Ever. I hear that name a lot from uh, South Africans while I've been over here. Yeah. Because didn't, we didn't get to see much of him. That, that, that is the thing, you know, in the isolation. Mm, yeah, it is. it's, it's, it's difficult. Like, the thing is, it's so interdependent. Yeah. You know, Donny Kerber doesn't play well without a good pack that's getting him go for it. You know, that's, that's the thing with that's rugby. That's the thing it about rugby. Probably, it's the ultimate team game. You know, a cricketer could go out to make 100 runs or get all the wickets, yeah, whatever. Your stats are so much... Yeah, your stats are so much higher. You've got the wind behind you, the captain gives you the yeah. ball, whereas rugby is interdependent. So to pick a Mount Rushmore in rugby is, is, is bloody hard. Mm. Yeah, that's you've got to do it with world rugby. Like, who, uh, I think that's, a safe, that, that's yeah. why it's a safe option. You go Pinar, Smith, Kulisi, and one more. And that's why I go Donny Gerber. L let me put it this way. The current group of players, you could so easily say that 90% of the squad team at the moment mm. would be there or thereabouts for the best player in that position ever for South Africa. I think that's the evolution of the game. I think that's the evolution of coaching, technology, everything that you have. You know, so, so, so it's, it's so difficult to compare generations with each other because it, it's just so different. Do you know one South African player that I think any generation would have been standout is Fleury Dupree. Fleury, definitely would, part would of the conversation. Without a doubt. For e yeah, yours could also be part of that conversation also. Yeah, like but I like Monty, the first Springbok to get to 100 caps mm. also. Yeah, yeah I want, like, you know, you need, to, you need to compare or have the balance right between caps and also then what, what the player had to offer. And I think, you know, even a guy like US, I think unbelievable rugby player. Yeah. But if you had to go define what makes you a good scrum off, yeah. you know, US pass wasn't the best. Yeah. You know, his break, he, his break is... But, but his ability to score tries and was, be an unbelievable rugby player, phenomenal. Yeah. Whereas Fouri was, you know, technically um, getting a ball out the rack, his passes, his kicking game, his decision-making, his everything, you know, was, was, was spectacular. I'm just chucking other names out. You've already mentioned yeah. it, but Oz Durant, his <coughs> story is incredible. Oz Durant, you know, then you go Victor Matfield, mm -hmm. totally transformed, um, you know, the I'm line not, out. Yeah. You go Brian Abana. Um, mm -hmm. Second most tries scored ever in the history of the game at Test match level. You know, you go, you go, guys that are that are far more. You know, Skulk Berger, um, uh, yeah, to this day still the youngest World Rugby Player of the Year. Um, How was he? Yeah, you know. So, so Bucky's Butter, yeah. Bucky's Butter, the ultimate enforcer. Um, then you go this generation, you know, and what Peter they Steph, have. We Peter Steph, his name will be there. He will be in the conversation. Yeah, he'll be in the conversation. He'll be there. Peter Steph will be um, in the conversation. About, uh, Chase Lynn will be in the... So you've you know, the... Danny Herbert. Who would you go for as your fourth one? Could you pick, could you pick one? Right. I'm going to push you, Shimmy. Come on. Uh, she struggled to think. Do you struggle to think? No, no. I wouldn't... Uh, normally like, or...? It's, it's such a team game. Like, I, you know what I mean? It's, uh, for me, the captains is pretty clear and obvious. Three captains and Rassi? As a, uh, well, do you judge it as a player or as a, as a yeah. coach? I was just I was giving Shimmy an out. I thought, thought Rassi also. I thought yeah. because of giving the coaching, what he's done 
for South African yeah. rugby and, and winning the World Cups, you know, double Fair. World Cup, British it and Irish feels like the, can I just, From the UK perspective, it feels like the rest of the world is now fully white, eyes open and respecting of just what a special character he is. Yeah. And just yeah. a good job he's done. It's unreal. The thing is, there's so many players that have come through, you know, you, you can't... Outside you of say Faree, someone says yes, you know, so you, yeah. you think... Then some um, say the current crop. Yeah, they, the current you know? crop, you know, the current crop, definitely, if you ask this after in 10 years' time, the, a lot of these yeah. guys in this, in this current team will definitely be in the, their names in the mix, you know. Yeah. Mm. You, you heard that Shimmy didn't at least mention you. That's fine. I'm with him on there. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you, guys. Thank you very I much. Really yeah, thanks, uh, thanks rugby, for the easy question. Rugby Pass <laughs> is uh, where you can find the box office every single week. And uh, I watch it. You don't have to be a Springbok fan to watch it, so do check it out. Hit subscribe on the channel, hit like, uh, and leave your comments down below. And also for the box office, thank you very much. <laughs> nice one.